Okay, uh, investigation uh, is instigated by, certainly informed by, flows out of whichever way you want to uh, word it, incident response. So incident response and how you handle incident response, how you structure it, how you manage it, is very important to investigation. So, you have to go back to what we've talked about in security management, in security operations, in uh, business continuity planning, in terms of what we are doing in regard to incident response, how we respond to any kind of incidents. Now, uh, you can you can get a checklist for how to do incident response, what you are going to do in incident response, uh, what your policies are going to be for incident response, and follow that checklist to the letter, and even if it's a really good checklist, you're going to miss things. So, um, what we are doing in incident response, well, what are the objectives? What, what are the outcomes that we want from our incident response? We want, uh, you know, in, in, in terms of incident response in particular, in, in regard here to uh, investigation, you know, it's computer crime response, you know, that we're, we're dealing with. But what are our objectives? And the first one is proper reporting. Well, uh, is that obvious? It's not always obvious to everybody. And it's uh, very often, oh yeah, yeah, we want proper reporting, but what is proper reporting? Again, going back to areas uh, from security management, such as the metrics. You know, we don't want metrics that give us lots of numbers but don't really help us with our other security objectives. Uh, again, our pragmatic security metrics uh, from Broadband and Hinson. Uh, that uh, is something that we have to look at in terms of proper reporting. What are we reporting? What information are we collecting? How much information are we collecting of different types? Um, what is the information that we collect that is going to be of benefit to us and to our security program? We want a prompt and an effective reaction to whatever the incident is. Uh, and, and so this means that we have to very early on determine what type of incident is this? How far are we going to take it? Uh, again, our policies with regard to whether or not we're going to go all the way in terms of an investigation. If we are, we have to be much more careful with regard to uh, the chain of evidence, the accuracy, reliability, and uh, the witnessing of the information that we collect and what we did in response. Uh, documenting all of that. If, as I say, it could end up in court, which very often it can end up in court even when we don't think that was where we originally intended. So, um, but we want, uh, you know, a, a reaction that is as quick as possible, as, as prompt, because, you know, if we're under attack, uh, we want to stop the attack as, as soon as we can. But we want an effective reaction. We don't just want to, well, sometimes we do, so, yeah, gain, you know, what is the policy from senior management? Do we just pull the plug and that stops the attack without giving us any information or evidence 
uh, that we can use in an investigation or to determine who is attacking us, how they are attacking us, how they got the information that they needed to attack us, and what we can do to prevent similar attacks in the future. You know, does senior management want that, or do they want to just stop the attack? Again, you know, policies with regard to how far do we go, and that is policy is up to senior management. We can advise. Sometimes our advice is not taken. Um, law enforcement. Cooperating with law enforcement. Now you always cooperate with law enforcement. But uh, law enforcement doesn't always cooperate with you, necessarily. Um, does law enforcement have the the knowledge and the capability uh, as I say you know we had a very interesting experience with uh, a guy who be became very you know very well known um, and and started a company with regard to computer forensics um, a hardly regarded company uh, but when he started out, he was in commercial crimes. He didn't know, you know, really all that much about computers, computer technology, and that sort of thing. And, and you know, the, the interesting part of having, uh, a, you know, a police officer coming to us in the technical groups and <laughs> very interestingly saying, without overtly saying, I don't know what I'm talking about. I need your help. Um, and, you know, good on him for doing that and uh, pursuing that. But at the time, he was the only law enforcement officer in the province who had some technical capabilities. He, he was the first one. And that... Uh, you know, means that does the, you know, local police department that you are dealing with, do they have that capability? Can they access that capability? Do they have the budget to access that capability if they have to pay for it? Um, so, you know, do they have the resources? Can they, in fact, do anything for you to support you in terms of your incident response? So, you know, you need to uh, consider that. You also need to consider if they do take an interest, if they do take over the investigation, they take over the investigation. It's not your investigation anymore. It's their investigation. And now you are required to help them. And, you know, what they say goes and how far they want to take it is how far it goes. So, um, be aware of that. Uh, the conduct of the investigation, how careful you have to be, and I hope I have stressed enough, you have to be really, really careful when you're conducting this. And think of the elements of your security program. When you're conducting an investigation, when you're doing incident response, uh, how is this supporting the elements of your security program? How is this um, providing you with evidence to improve your security posture? So, that's the objectives of incident response, and particularly with regard to investigation. That's what you should be doing.